converting between quadratic forms, got factored into vertex form. Okay. Factored form a times x minus p times x minus q into vertex form a times x minus h squared plus k. Remember, factored form tells us our x-intercepts right away. Vertex form tells us the vertex. Your x-intercepts are p and q. Your vertex is h comma k. All right. Well, if you, I don't know what order you're watching these in, but if you want to be in vertex form, you have to know what the vertex is. So the only steps for going from factored form to vertex form is just find the vertex. Okay. Find the vertex and identify what A is. Because okay. all forms have that A value and it never changes. So find the vertex, identify A, and then once you know the vertex, you know H and K. And once you know H, K, and A, you know vertex form. Okay, so in standard form, we had a formula to find the vertex. We did the opposite of B over 2A. In factored form, we don't have A's and B's. Well, we have A, but we don't have, that formula doesn't work. So we have to find a different way of finding the vertex. Okay. Now, if you remember when we did factored form, there is a method of finding it. It starts by first finding the x-intercepts. Okay. So in this example problem, we have f of x equals x minus 10 times x minus 6. Start by finding the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts in factored form is just the p and the q. Okay. In this case, p is 10, q is 6. So our x-intercepts are 10 and 6. Remember, it's always the opposite of what you see in those parentheses. Okay. Once you know the x-intercepts, we know the axis of symmetry is always between the x-intercepts. It's going to be directly between those two x-intercepts. So if we want to find the axis of symmetry, we take those x-intercepts, we add them together, and we divide by 2. Okay. So we're going to do 10 plus 6 divided by 2, which is 16 over 2, which is 8. Okay, So that's the axis of symmetry. And remember, the axis of symmetry is also the x value of the vertex. And the x value of the vertex in vertex form is h. So we just found h. Okay, so now we need the y value of the vertex, which is our k value. To find the y value of the vertex, we're going to plug in the x value. So we're going to find f of 8. So that means we're going to go to the original problem, and wherever we see x, we're going to plug in 8. So f of 8 is equal to, instead of x minus 10, it's 8 minus 10. And instead of x minus 6, it's 8 minus 6. Okay. That's negative 2 times positive 2, which is 4. That is the y value of your vertex, which in vertex form is k. All right, so we know h, we know k. The only thing we have to do is figure out what a is. Okay. a is always the number in front. Okay. Well, there isn't a number in front in this original problem. Okay. If there's not a number in front, that doesn't mean a is 0. It means a is 1. So a is 1, h is 8, k is 4. So we know everything we need for vertex form. Okay. So we're just going to plug them into their respective spots. The a goes in front. Okay, You can put the 1, but you don't have to. Put it for now. x minus h. Okay. h is 8, so x minus 8 squared plus k plus 4. All right, and that is it. That's vertex form. Okay. Again, that 1 can be there. It doesn't have to be, though. All right, and remember, let's find what we know. If you know vertex form, you know the vertex. The vertex is h comma k, 8 comma 4. If you were in factored form, you knew the x-intercepts, and we, well, we already wrote those down, so we're going to write them down again. It's 10 and 6. So you already know three parts of this graph. 
All right, let's do another one. Let's say we have f of x equals, uh, let's do negative two times x plus 18 times x minus six. And we're gonna go through and find the exact same, exact same order. So we're gonna start by finding the x-intercepts. Then we're going to find the axis of symmetry. Okay. Then we're going to find f of whatever that axis of symmetry is. And then we're going to identify what a is. Because okay. remember, the axis of symmetry is the h value. f of the axis of symmetry is the k value. All right, so start with the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are P and Q. Okay. In this problem, P is negative 18 and Q is positive 6. Remember, always the opposite. So your x-intercepts are negative 18 and positive 6. Okay. Now we know the axis of symmetry is going to be halfway between negative 18 and positive 6. So to find that, we add those together, negative 18 plus 6, and divide by 2. Negative 18 plus 6 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So that is my axis of symmetry. That's my x value of the vertex. It's also h in vertex form. So now we're going to find f of negative 6 to find the k value. So wherever you see x, we're going to plug in negative 6. So negative 2 times negative 6 plus 18 times negative 6 minus 18, or negative 6 minus 6. Okay. And that's going to be a big number. See, it's negative, it's 12, 12, it's 288. That's the y value of the vertex, also the k value in vertex form. And then lastly, we just have to identify what a is. a is always the number in front. In the original problem, a was negative 2. So in our vertex form, a also has to be negative 2. And that is everything we need. We know h, we know k, we know a. So just plug those values into vertex form equation, which is y equals a, so negative 2, times x minus h, x minus negative 6, so minus negative 6 is plus 6 squared, and then plus k, plus 288. And that is vertex form. Okay, so that is going from factored form into vertex form. It's always the same. You have to find the vertex first. Okay, and to find the vertex from factored form, you want to start by finding the x-intercepts. Then you find the axis of symmetry. And you find the y-value, plug in that axis of symmetry. Identify A, and then kind of assemble it all into vertex form.